Get the f out of bed, shark bay! Get the f up, you worthless slimy! <laughs> We're going running! Warning, neighbors. <laughs> there's hardly any wind, there's no waves. But I wouldn't worry about it. It's good, Sam, for testing out this surfing while working idea. It's moving to an island and being from the States um, has its challenges. The first time we moved, we had, I mean, no money in the account. We would hitchhike around the island. We didn't even have a car. Oh, it's too early for that, too. We're starting to enjoy some of the popularity that comes from, you know, having one boat and then going away and coming back again with a new boat that has a bit of a story. A normal week is, is usually, I mean, all seven days are usually booked. It might start super early at sunrise and you might get back home at like 11 o'clock at night. So he's usually leaving when it's dark, coming back when it's dark. And what do you yeah. do? I mean, do you take care of the kids and do you have any, I mean, I, that alone is probably a full-time job, but. Yeah, <laughs> I take care of the kids. And then I do all of this stuff for the office, for the boat. Oh, okay. And then I also work for a solar yeah. company. You went to college in Charleston, you grew up down there, yeah. and you know, you're living down here. What do your friends back home think of you trying to raise, you know, three kids down on the islands? Do they get it? Do they have a lot of questions? Do they think you're crazy? <laughs> I mean, you get that mixture where some people think that it's the coolest thing, and then there are other people who think that, they're like, how do you do that? It's one of the cooler things, so it's just the community down here more than anything else. St. John is like such a special place. It really is like the people are amazing uh, and we are so blessed with so many travelers that want to come here and see the national park and see the color of the water and, and maybe go to the British Virgin Islands and go to the Soggy Dollar Bar and things that they've heard of. Um, so it's kind of a, a destination that has a following and uh, you know, you, you, you're, it's a, such a small little island, you can't, you'll see someone five times in a day. So we, you're just like a big family, and, and it is cool. Um, you can let your kids run free, and somebody's watching them, you know, and you feel much more secure in letting kids just kind of be a kid. And that was another big, huge change from the States. I think there's advantages and disadvantages wherever you are. Yeah. It's just a trade-off, and you choose which ones you want to live with. And to me, it's better to have the kids growing up in a small community where they know everybody and everybody's looking out for each other. I think that stuff's yeah, more guys, important to yeah. me Do than guys, some of the other stuff. You guys like it here, you like growing up here? Yeah, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Can I get a tour of the house? Yeah. I want to see where y'all live, how it goes. All right, guys, get ready. Get all ready to go. I'm going to make sure there aren't any cars coming. All right? Show me how you feel and I will take a Kids are kids. When they get bored, they're going to invent little games and dangerous stuff to do. So this is the kid kid zone. Yep. Kira sleeps in the bottom bunk. Sully's up top. This is where you make breakfast for everyone. This is where Kira cooks. <laughs> so that was kid zone, and this yeah. is mom and dad land, grown up zone. Very nice. And then this is your amazing view. It's a nice thing to wake up and see in the morning. You want to come out here and have a little girl talk with me? Sure. <laughs> talk to me a little bit about, you, you guys went back, you, you picked up from here, you went back to Charleston, which is where you're from, and settled in. And then all of a sudden, uh, it's time to come back. Jameson wants to come back. So was that tough for you? Were you, were you ready to come back? Did you miss it at all? So when we moved back to the States, Jameson tried working for other people. She's just not, it's not his thing. <laughs> so I kind of encouraged him to build another boat. And Belle and Sully had kind of had their young childhood down here for the most part before we moved up there. And I was pregnant with Kira. It was due in April and James was like, you know, this way we get to like show her all of that stuff and she gets to experience it. When we first bought a piece of property on St. John, we just built kind of a temporary structure because the permitting process takes so long. My family and I, we all lived in a in a tree house. It's really little, it's kind of a little 10 by 10 main structure with two lofts off the sides and a little teeny tiny like kitchen hallway kind of entrance with a little, I mean it's basically an outhouse, there's a composting toilet. So this is where Claire had to hike yeah. up to do the laundry and the... Yeah, carry the laundry out, carry the Boy. clean laundry back in, the water had to be carried, the kids, but we got in shape. This is the entrance, this is the gate. Yeah, this is the grand <laughs> entrance right here. <laughs> Watch your step. This was our little pathway, our little crushed stone pathway. 
this literally is a tree house. I wasn't sure what to expect, but this is a tree house. How long did it take you to build this? This took about four months. Four, four months? months to put together. Yeah, actually on my days off. At that Wait. time, it had sail fabric for a roof. You can still see some of the fabric. Uh, since then, it's had an aluminum roof put on. Survivor Virgin Island style. I can't get over thinking of you as a little baby sort of running around out here. Actually, yeah, this was your, chasing after this was your you. little door. <laughs> you do this for the love of it all, for sure. You gotta love St. John and the Caribbean to uh, do it. This rustic, I think you really gotta, you gotta love the whole thing. We're gonna go to the BVI tomorrow, so you can, you can do the full spectrum. If it's not a wood board, it's not tough enough. But the coolest thing probably is to be able to bring your kids to work. Um, so what's it like being an all-girls crew? Oh yeah, let's swab this deck down, yeah? You just really have to let go of all the little what-ifs. You just go for it, it, it works out. I'm Eric Repair, and I'm here with Stanley Tucci. Watch my new show, On the Table, here on Reserve. Click to subscribe. That was good. I am actually your sous chef today. Yes, I know. And you it's are. something that I've wanted for years. <laughs> when I'm cooking at home, I always say, where's Eric? Why isn't he here helping me? Food like film is performance. And we had three different kinds of vodkas. That was our breakfast. Strong? Yeah. As it should be. Sure. I'm completely drunk. Why would I remember that? Both are dramatic. Let's put a little zest in. You want me to do it? Yeah, or do it. You're better than I am. I'm not better. I mean, seriously, it's a lemon. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Romantic. She loved what she did so much. I would almost feel like I wanted to cry. Spectacular. Look at the fish. It looks really fantastic. It's so pretty. Or sad. I have been on training for a couple of episodes. I couldn't say my lines. I couldn't even play myself. <laughs> I, I don't know what I was, but it was pathetic. You were in my kitchen every day. I cooked really well. Well, if you teach me how to say my lines. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't give me the best food on earth if I'm by myself. It's so, meant to be shared. I mean, you're not going to hide the bottle of wine and I mean, you're an alcoholic if you do that. And then you <laughs> take the fish and you put it somewhere and you hide it in a corner. Right. It could be a good Something character for a movie. Yeah, right? but it's a sad character. It's a sad character, it's sad. exactly. Yeah. It's getting better. Yeah. And it's 10 more episodes. <laughs> <laughs>